You know, I've always said there's only two kinds of wine in the world, the kind you like and the kind you don't like. But what if you don't like wine at all? Well, you're about to meet a guy who fixed that problem. Meet Tom Nixon at Modern Craft Wines. He's a biosystems engineer by trade who traded in his job to invent a collection of wines he'll actually quaff. Yes, Tom became a mad mixologist determined to make wines that are more mouth-friendly to the masses. And that brought me and the crew to his winery and tasting room in Au Gray to do, uh, well, exactly that. Okay, first of all, what is a biosystems engineer? A biosystems engineer, okay. So it's part of uh, biology, so you learn about cells and how cells work and, and um, chemistry and those types of things. And then so it's engineering, it's all the mechanical engineering things you get with engineering background, but they infuse all of the uh, biological tissues and living things into all of that stuff. So uh, you, you get that broad spectrum of biosystems. Well, that explains why you're good with making wine, because it's it's part chemistry, yeah. part art, and mostly fun. Or more <laughs> yeah. by accident, yeah. even, right? Yeah. I mean, that was how we started. Well, uh, speaking of getting started, how did a guy who doesn't like wine end up owning a winery and making wine? Yeah, yeah, uh, a beer. So so the beer was always the passion, right? I'd get into the beer, and you'd go to restaurants, and that craft beer thing started to come up. And so I was making craft beer in the basement, and it eventually moved into the bathtub, and the wife got a little bit angry about the beer things in the bathtub, so she moved me outside and, and eventually into the garage. And then it's like, okay, so I start getting into thinking about opening a business. How do you get into beer? Beer was a difficult business to get into. All the microbreweries popping up and competition. And so we visited a couple wineries and said, okay, this wine thing looks like it could be easy to get into. The boutique wineries are a thing. But um, you don't like just, wine. Yeah, right. So so we said, if we're going to do wine, we have to do wine that's different than everybody else. So we started very simplistic. We developed a fruit infusion process that took normal wines, red wines and white wines, and infused the fruit into it. Of course, that evolved over time into things like our uh, wine blossom rosé. Uh, we're doing a pina colada wine today. So it's all about how you flavor it, what other ingredients you put into that to make this a different, truly a different kind of wine. And so I guess that's just sort of like, hey, we got this wine thing. It looks like it's something that we could get into. Let's open the garage, right? So the, the bathtub got moved to the basement, got moved to the garage. The brewery turned into a winery. The brewery turned into a winery, yep, right. somewhere along the line there. And then we're like, we better just open the doors and start selling to people. So the first tasting room opened in November of 2011, and that's all she wrote. Now we have six tasting rooms across the state of Michigan, and we have more tasting rooms than any other winery in Michigan. How has the wine community, I don't want to say wine snobs, but the serious wine community, how have they embraced you? We don't pull any punches. We don't trick people to try to think that we're a traditional winery and that when you come here, you're going to get the wine and swirl it up. We say it. <laughs> we mix it up, guys. Come on and try something new. And you know, they really, they, they're skeptical at first maybe, and then they come in here and they see what we're doing and we're not trying to sell them something we're not. Try something new. Mix the red wine with the grapefruit. Put a little tonic in your grapefruit and they go, oh, this is really cool concept. Oh, my daughter liked that. It's almost like it's a modern crafted wine. Exactly. Tom is yet another example of a young person being creative and innovative right here in Michigan. And he's doing it with a liquid that's near and dear to my heart. So if you've yet to find the kind of wine you like, check out the selection at Modern Craft. I'm sure Tom is conjuring one up right now you'll absolutely love, because these are wines of a whole different kind.